Right, morning. Um, yeah, I'm back. I can't remember what part this is. Part nine or ten, something like that. Um, I should know, because I just watched my last video back to see where I was with it. Um, so, yeah, apologies about the last one. Right self-indulgent pile of shite, wasn't it? Just me going on about fucking work and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that, that kind of comes from um, the fact I'd left it so long since I'd done a video and I felt like I should explain myself. So, but anyway, I'm not going to start fucking rambling on about work and all that kind of shit. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to talk about painting this time. So we'll get straight on with that, yeah. So, as you can see, hopefully, um, since the last video, I've, I've finished that layer of underpainting that I was talking about. I can't get this fucking straight. In as much as I've got across this bottom edge now. So, hopefully, you can see some of it on the camera. Um, this area here is, it's like, a, it's like a bit of a beach hedge, I think. Um, but I'm not looking at it as a beach hedge at the minute. I'm still just looking at it as shapes and tones. So, and there's a couple of bits like this leaf here. I've kind of made that look a bit like a leaf. The rest of it, I don't give a shit if it looks like a leaf or not at the minute. Because if the tones are in the right place and the shapes are in the right place, they'll, they'll just look like leaves by the time I've finished painting them. But by doing it like this, um, it gives it a... I, I hate the word painterly, because it... Painterly to me often just means fucking messy, lazy, sloppy painting. Um, but I do think there's quite a bit to be said for letting the paint um, speak for itself. I don't, I don't want to start, start sounding like a pretentious arty wanker. I mean, I'm a bit of one, but, you know. Um, yeah, there's that. I, I, I try with my paintings to um, keep in mind that William Morris thing of um, something should either be functional or beautiful. So, I either want the paint to be describing the thing that it's meant to be, or I want it to be beautiful. Well, actually, I want it to be both. I want it to describe the image, but I want the paint, the surface of the paint, and the paint itself to be interesting and beautiful. Whether I succeed or not, fucking, I guess you can be judge of that. Um, so, yeah, I, like, like I say, at the minute, when I'm looking down here, I'm not trying, to, like I said, I'm not trying to describe individual leaves or individual stems. Things are coming together. You're starting to see some of them, like here, there's a few stems that are going to cross over. But they don't look anything like stems at the minute. They just look like scruffy lines. Um, so, 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 Um Yeah, so... Everything I just said, I'm just going to fucking repeat myself like an idiot. Right, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try and demonstrate to you how to do a kind of grey scale for the underpainting. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. I don't know how. You can have a look at my magnolia painting in the background while I fuck about it. Because I haven't prepared it because I'm an idiot. So, titanium white. Um, I think I said in another video that titanium white's particularly opaque. I've got some zinc white here, but I'm not going to be using that yet. Um, I'll use that from the next layer up. I'll be mixing my white, my titanium, my titanium white with zinc. Titanium, titanium, does it fucking matter? So anyway, can you see that? I don't know if you fucking can. So I've got a blob of white there. And a blob of ivory black. There. Is that picking it up? No, is it? Fuck, you just put it out of shot of camera, you dickhead. 
Can you see that? No. Ah, oh, right, so I've only got this fucking area here. Um, right, hang on. Bear with, I might have to pause it. In fact, I'm going to. Right, that's better. I just have to drag the palette back a bit to increase the um, field of view. So, I haven't even explained why the fuck I'm doing this. Um, the painting... Oh no. The painting as it is. Now this, that layer of underpainting that I was talking about is kind of done, but the underpainting is not finished. It still looks a bit shy. Like, I think this bit here needs to be darker. This whole area needs to be darker. And then needs to, I need to break some shadows into here to tie these two areas together. Because this and this are slightly independent of one another at the minute. So, my next thing, fucking hell. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mix up a grayscale of paint. And I'm going to, I'm going to work across the whole thing. The image that I'm working from, um, I fucked that off for this layer. I, I don't bother with it. Because I'm looking at the painting as a painting. Um, I'm not trying to copy the photograph. I, yeah, I'm not. I, you know, it's, the, the, I think I said earlier on, the photograph's a bit of a tool, a jumping off point for, um, to produce a painting from. The painting's sort of independent. You know, if I just, if I was just copying the photograph, I'd just blow the comment up. Easy as that. But anyway, but that's not what I'm trying to do. So anyway, fucking anyway, anyway, anyway. God, I'm repeating myself all over the place. Seven minutes in, I'm not stopping it. This is a shit show, but out they all. Right. So, mixing the grayscale. So what I want to do is I want to mix a sort of strip of paint that I can work from, from dark to light, and I want the full tonal range in between. You know, I don't want it like dead dark and then a couple of stages light there. So I'm going to move this black over just a little bit. Might be a little bit out of shot, but it'll come back in in a minute. Um, so the first thing I want to do is with my pile of white paint, I'm going to split it into four, maybe five little blobs. The reason I do this is because when I start mixing the paint, I don't want the black, I, I, I turn that whole blob of white grey and then I ain't got any white, I ain't got a light at all. So to begin with, I'll take a half decent sized blob of the white okay and then I'm going to take a bit of the black that's about the same amount I'm just going to mix them together in the middle this is so I've got what's called a 50% grey so it's half and half so that is going to set my mid tone my, the middle of that range now when you're mixing paint it's a good idea to mix dark paint to light paint because if I started putting white into the pile of black there to make it light I'd use all that white and it'd only just start making it a bit lighter I'd end up you'd end up with these massive piles of paint so it's just it's just a sort of economical way of doing it so I've got my 50% gray there in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a bit of it out to that side and mix some more black in with it. And like I say, I'm adding dark to light here at this end. I'm going to, well, I'll talk, I'll talk about it when I get to it. So all I'm doing here is mixing dark paint into the light paint so that now on this side of it, I've got a half decent grey from 50% grey to black. Now I get more white. Now remember what I said about adding dark to light. I want this strip to work, but I'm going to pick up a little bit of that mid grey. I'm going to shove it in the white. So I'm mixing dark into light here. And then... But you see now all that white that I put in is all grey. So I can 
grab a bit more fresh white that's clean and white, put it just at the side of it and then pick up a bit of that dark paint again, mix it into the light, mix it into one edge of it, I'll keep the other side of it clean for a minute, drag it in and then a bit more white at this end, like I said I've got a bit of clean white there and I've got a bit of clean black there that's not polluted at all so if I need to do light and dark but I know it's a bit rough I don't know if you can even see it but I've got a grey scale there now so I can pick light paint I can pick a lighter tone I mean I'm, I'll fuck about with this a little bit because I'm not happy with this end of it but for purposes of demonstrating what I'm trying to do um, it's just quicker than me because you know it can, it can take me a minute or two doing this normal thing now. so yeah I've got this grey scale here and then what I'm looking to do now on this like I said uh, there's certain areas I want to darken off this bit here to, to tie these areas together I've got this sort of harsh line here it needs some of these really dark shadows bringing up into here but they're tiny little dots so basically I'm going to be doing like little bits of pontillism and shit to bring it in, darkening this area off. I'll go into the sky as well, but I won't mess with it too much. All I'll probably do in the sky is clean up the whites because some of these areas that are like bright highlights, as, you, as you're painting, you reach a point where um, it'll get a little bit of fucking grey in it and it, you never get it white again. You'll never get it white without um oh, I'm doing with this. yeah you'll never get it white again unless you either even if you clean it off actually the tiniest little stain of it will walls it up um so you just let it dry and then just clean up the highlights but uh, you can do it with a little bit of medium so you can get a bit of well at the minute i'm just using turps so you won't do that because it crack it but as you get into later layers, you can put a little bit of oil down or a little bit of your medium. I use a medium, which is a mix of Dame Advanced Turpentine and oil, but I'll explain that as I get once I get to that stage. But you can put a little bit of your medium down and then it'll soften the edges. You can work it like you're working wet paint into wet paint, but you're working dry paint, you're working wet paint onto a dry surface, but without polluting the colour. Does that make sense? Probably not. Um, or... You can fuck off and all. I'm gonna fucking dirty geek fly in here. I'll sell out in a minute. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, you can use a bit of medium to do it like a wet and wet thing. But what I'm gonna do here, because like I said, I can't, I can't like wipe turpentine on that or that paint will crack. Um, I'll do what's called a scumble glaze, which is where you're using just the paint as it as it comes out of the tube. I won't mix any medium in with this now at all. I've been using turpentine in these lower layers. Um, and then, oh, hang on, my head's going to shit. I'm gonna pause it.